Hey guys, Uncle Packy here, back with you for our next adventure. Hey, listen, this is gonna be the adventure. Um, I know it's been a minute since I uh, posted anything. And first of all, I wanna thank all my fans that has checked on me, asked me how I've been, where I'm doing, how come, whatever. Well, this video right here, you're fixing to find out. So first, I wanna introduce you to somebody. Oh, Wayne Brisky. Hey, guys. Hey, listen, before you get started, don't get confused with brisket. You know what I mean? Hey, that's right. It took me 20, 45 years to build this that, up, That's man. what I'm saying. <laughs> so, so basically what's happened here is these guys have had an idea to build a mud park, and I have been in conversations with them for months. I mean, wouldn't you say months? Yeah. yeah Definitely absolutely. months. Six months or so. And uh, we finally came to an agreement, and... We finally got the equipment in, so they said, Packy, it's time for you to join our team. Here's, you know, whatever. But I'll let Wayne explain it to you. But look, here we are, right here. Grand River Motorsports Park, baby. All right, Wayne, tell us a little about it. All right, thanks, Packy. Well, first of all, we're excited to have you on board. No, I appreciate uh, it. We, one of the main things I wanted to do when building this park was we wanted to make sure that we had what the public is looking for in the park. Uh, we didn't want to just build something and hope we did it right. So that's the reason we came and got you because we know you got a lot of knowledge of a lot of parks around the country and we wanted to make sure that you brought us the best ideas from all of that so uh, uh, we're we're gonna build a first-class facility here uh, what they're doing right here today we we've, we've already got them started on the roads and clearing and uh, of course burning all this stuff but uh, we're gonna have a real nice entrance way to make sure that uh, you don't get backlogged when you uh, when you come in uh, we don't like sitting in traffic either, so we're going to try to alleviate that. That was one we heard you when you put your uh, your comments out there on Facebook. Uh, make sure that we, we we've already had to fight a little bit to get what yep, we think yep, we needed. Yep, so yep. Hey, it's good though. We're going to make sure that we try to alleviate that problem, so you're not sitting in traffic when you come to a big event. And uh, it's it's shaping up. What do you think, Packy? I like it, man. Hey, so what we got going on right here is uh, we got power lines going in. So the power company is waiting on us to clear a trail for all the power poles. And that's what over here, that's what over here to the right is. And then these guys here, they're just loading up the debris in a, I guess a big dump truck there, a tractor trailer dump truck, but they're taking it to an incinerator burn pile. So they got this high tech sophisticated way to get rid of all this debris. Oh yeah, you'll see it, trust me, you, you'll get it. So, uh, Anyway, that's what they're doing. Now, Wayne, now tell me how many, so how many acres do we have that way on, on this side of the river, of Sticks River? Well, phase one, the total of phase one is just a little less than 2,000 acres. Uh, this side over here is uh, probably around 1,200 acres. And then we have some on the other side of the road. That's uh, a, probably about 800. I'm estimating, of course, but um, we have quite a bit more property for future phases as the park grows. So how much is on the other side of Sticks River? Uh, there's about another 2,500 acres. Okay. So total, I think it's around 4,500 acres. So we got we got, we got got a lot of property to work with here. Oh, yeah. Now, now I want to tell y'all some, some more good news about this place. Dude, there's a lot of good news I got to tell you. So that's why, that's why y'all got to stick with me. Well, one thing I want you to do is go over to Grand River Motorsports Facebook page and y'all smash that like button and follow because Wayne is gonna be providing pictures and park progress and all that stuff there. And y'all just need to be on that page, I'm telling you, because it's gonna be getting developed and you need to stay in tune with that. Also, in the very near future, I'm gonna be creating a Grand River Motorsports YouTube channel. And I'm gonna do some funny stuff like when Uncle Packy's on the machine out here cutting, when Wayne's getting stuck. Hey, hey, hold on a minute. Let me tell you about it. Buddy, don't stuff. even talk about that damn GMC. Uh, uh, don't right, even so do it. You're driving a Dodge. This, this is what happened. <laughs> this is what happened, okay? I'm going down one of the trails that the guys cut, and, and this squirrel, he, he squirrel come out, and, and, damn and squirrel. I, I, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to kill him. Was he carrying girl. a beer? Well, he was pulling a cooler behind cool. him. Hey, okay, I knew it was something. And I didn't want to kill a little fella, so I said, man, let me let me stop. Well, I lost all my momentum, and truck sat down in the mud. Now, here's the funny part about uh -oh, it. Uh-oh, here we go. Packy comes to here get me out with a skid steer, and what does he do? He buries the damn skid steer. Well, listen, anytime you're in a Dodge, 
and you put a stump in front of the dual wheels in the mud pit, you ain't going anywhere. Hey, we'll show them that mud pit in a minute. All right. All right. Up. So look. So back to back to my good news. I was gonna tell you is there's a lot of parks I've been to, and I like those parks. But sometimes getting to those parks on the on the road is a little rough. Well, this is actually State Highway 87. Is that right? Uh, yeah, County Road 87. County Road 87. Okay. And there's the interstate. So look, right over there is Interstate 10, baby. Right over there. Now Wayne got some good news yesterday, and I'm gonna let him explain that to you. Yeah. So when we first started working on this project, we we wanted to inquire about what it would take to get a exit off of I-10 right here at our road. And the good news is, is the state has started drawing it up. They've already started drawing the engineering plans for it. We actually now, saw a picture of that yesterday. We saw a picture yep. of it. We know that it's slow getting stuff like that done, but the good news is, is you will eventually be able to get off right at the entrance of the park off of the interstate. Now, when he says right here, he means like the the exit is from that white line according to the drawings we saw the exit is from that white line to right here is the actual exit off the interstate now this is like i said it's going to be a service entrance hey i got an idea why don't we get in the truck and we will show them yeah. some uh what we think might be happening Where but we're putting things yeah let's do but, it but this isn't easy guy i mean you see what we're dealing with. I mean, it is nothing but woods and you'll see some more stuff in a minute. But what we're trying to do is, of course, we are gonna have mud pits for, we're gonna have a side-by-side -side area for mud and ATVs. We're gonna have DOT pit for trucks. We're gonna have a bog truck pit. We're gonna do, on this side, we're gonna do, um, well, as of right now, the plan is we're going to do a motor motocross track, like a real race track. Yep. Jumps, hills, berms. Single track trails for motorcycles will That's be right. on the west side. All right. So basically right now, the plan is, is motorcycles and that stuff is all on this side of the road. Your mega trucks, your bog trucks, your DOT trucks, your side-by-sides, UTVs, ATVs is all going to be on this side, you know, this side of the highway. So there's not that, you know, there's not, each each class of off-road vehicle has a destination or a distinguished yeah. area for, for them. Yeah. So, and, and listen, we're open for ideas. So if the mo if motorcycle guys say, hey man, we want this, if, if, we, if we can get it done, we'll get it done for them. And same thing for side-by-sides and trucks. So anyway, all right, so let's jump in the truck. All right. Let's ride around the park. I'm sure they are tired of looking at uh, County Road 87. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. No, Where I ain't. Do you want to go? I'm not. Uh, I'm not holding on because I want you to grind them gears again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so there might be the county's talking about putting in a round around right here, which dumps right into the property. Which this will be your entrance right here once we get it. Once we get kind of going. Are you? Are well, you? Becky, I want to just tell uh, everybody something too. I mean, uh, this piece of property is unique because it's sandwiched between the interstate and the river. And I know you're gonna tell them a lot about the river. No, tell them, but, you, uh, wanna go, you wanna show them the river? Yeah, let's let this car pass us so we don't hold them up. But, All right, uh, so let's, let's tell them a little bit about it. Okay, so, so right down there at that bridge that I'll show you in a minute is Sticks River. And right over there on the other side of that gate, you can see down there at the bottom of the hill right there, down that road will be a dump station for a tube ride adventure. Right, this is where you'll end up your tube ride. We'll bus you up river and you'll float down and you'll end up here right back at the park. Right, and, and also, once you're in the park for the weekend, you can buy a ticket to have unlimited tube rides for like a little 15 minute ride for your kids. You're gonna come in at the exit of the real tube ride we're gonna ship you up there, give you a tube all weekend, dump you off right here in the creek. Let me roll the wind down. We're gonna dump, now it's high and muddy right now because all the rain we've been having. But we're gonna dump you in right here and then you're gonna go that way to the park. And all the other folks in the normal tube ride, they'll be coming, they'll be coming from this direction. And then they'll come under this bridge and they'll get out right here. And then they go home because they're just here for the tube adventure. So then the people in the park that want a tube ride, they will just pick up their tube and um, 
hop in right here and it's what is it, 15 minutes to the mud area yeah we have several miles of river front here so they'll have plenty of time to uh, float down yep and uh, like you said the river looks a little ugly right it now does. but we got some beautiful white sandy beaches when yep. it's at normal level hey and he's not lying they the beaches so you can float down your tube carry your cooler whatever who cares but you can stop at a beach have your picnic you know whatever you want to do i love the fact that we're going to be able to incorporate some cold water in june july august and uh that's just a very another that's just another big plus for this park man is to be able to have some uh some water activities and we're going to do a lot of fun stuff with that creek too oh yeah all right we turn around here's wayne's mansion just kidding <laughs> all right so here we go so this somewhere in here is going to be like you know coming in and this is going to be four to six lanes wide so you don't have to well you're probably going to sit in line but at least you're not on the highway sitting in line yeah we're going to have a good staging area uh, where you'll be on the park property man has this and, thing got shocks on it are we even on the road <laughs> <laughs> old dodge dually man Come hey on. hey listen so so we're out here playing around so you know uncle packy drives that ford that's six seven baby well of course wayne drives a gmc which you'll learn about later i'm sure you dude they and uh, anyway, the company truck is a Dodge Dually, as you saw. So we have all three out here, and buddy, they have all been through hell. I'm just telling you. So look, these guys up here, they're already, they're already doing it, buddy. They're getting ready to start the incinerator and burn that stuff. Oh, up. are they fixing to burn? This is where they're gonna burn that right here. They're gonna burn right here. That's why they cleared this off and oh, get an four. incinerator going here. So we got to come back up here and check on that because they want to see some of that. Action. Yep, absolutely. All right, so here we are. Okay, so there's the. There's where the trucks were, where we started the video up there on 87. And then this is coming into the park. And uh, all this to the right, Wayne, correct me if I'm wrong now, but all this to the right is they're clearing that out because that's where the power pole is going to be. That's right. That fence that you see right there is the fence uh, by the interstate. So we got the interstate just on the other side of those trees there. And we'll run the power poles down there to save, save room. Yeah, and, no need uh, to having power poles on the property. We don't have right, to. That's right. And this will be the entrance. Uh, you can see they've already got quite a bit of work done. They, have, they, have, they have done a lot of work. And they've only been here two days. Yep, that's right. That's so, the so yeah, there's the interstate up there. So that kind of gives you an idea. So, I think you should zoom in on that tower right there and explain oh, why that's important. That's you tell good. them. You tell them. Guys, one thing that's cool about this property, and he'll get you a picture of it here as soon as we got a clear view of it. Right over them trees right there. Sit right next to the interstate so you will have 5g access all over our entire property four bars baby with verizon so when you're ready to upload a video it, and you're going through the mud hole you got it, it you can don't happen. have to wait till you get home you can make a call to your grandma if you want to all right so uh i believe i believe the road is going to be 50 feet wide from here all the way to what we're showing them that's right staging area and up there you see that hill up there ahead of us we're going to go up in a minute that's going to be where the check-in station is uh the main check-in station for the for the park and uh we got real nice design tell them why uh, we tell them why we picked that hill right there well first of all you'll be able to see it from the interstate and the second thing is we're going to put a big giant flagpole up on that thing and have us an american flag oh, up there and uh we're hoping to you know show this place off to all the people going down the interstate this is uh i-10 is one of the busiest interstates in the country as far as traffic going back and forth and we know everybody comes from all over to go to florida to go to disney to come to the beaches so but we uh, got to back up a little bit yep how close are we to pensacola how many how many minutes i'll tell you where we're at packy we are exactly between pensacola mobile and gulf shores alabama if you were to draw a triangle we are about 25 miles to 30 miles from each one of those locations we are dead in the middle so when you're coming to the beach or you're coming down here, we are right in the middle. Bring your stuff with you, so, bring your bikes with you. So we can actually have, I mean, a family could actually come stay three or four days at the beach and then they can come down here for an event we're gonna have or whatever on the weekend. And then they can enjoy the best of both worlds, get the sun and the good food and all that. And then- We got amusement they, parks, water parks down the road. Everything. What happens to most people, Packy, is they come to the beach and they burn themselves up on the beach the first day. 
and then they're looking for other things to do and we're right here and and there might even be this ugly dude standing down there doing excursions to uh we've already got to deal with Polaris right yep yep so we're gonna be renting Polaris side by side side by sides or just ATVs or both uh, both so we got side by sides and ATVs we're gonna be renting um and I'm gonna be doing probably an excursion in Gulf Shores say you know hey come ride with Uncle Packy I'm gonna take you around the park it's a four-hour tour we're gonna feed you lunch show you around let you do a little mud riding on those rental units and you know we're gonna do we're gonna do some stuff that I've never seen before at some mud parks and uh, it's coming buddy it's coming Actually, just... I'm gonna stop right up here at the top of the hill for a minute right. just to talk about uh, what what we're thinking uh, this area over here to my left is potentially going to be one of our camp areas. Now, we're still got to get in there and make sure that the land is good for it and, and uh, you know, that we can actually put what we want in there. But um, this is one of the areas that might be a camping. And as we go down this road, you'll see our plan B if this one doesn't work out. So. But that, that goes back hundreds of yards. Well, yeah, it goes yeah. all the way back to the river back in right. there. So there's uh, plenty of property for a nice big campground. and. Um, and but it, that's still being developed. Now, now that's that's the real like 50 amp bad to the bone yeah. good campground, right? Yeah. Right. So so all this land to your right to the interstate, we're gonna clear it off as far as we can to the fence. So like your primitive camping and all that can be. Well, we were thinking down here. Uh, down here a little further. A little further. Okay. There's a big section between this road and the interstate that'll be perfect for, for that, that kind of camping right over there. And you'll be in the heart of the park at that point. That's right. Um, so you'll be able to just, we'll have trails going out of the back of the campground. So you can just jump on your, on your bike and go wherever you want. So on this main trail, which is gonna be 50 feet wide, because that's what they're working on back there. As you see, this is kind of what it used to look like, you know, just one lane in here. Yep. How far from the entrance, from the entrance now, where the entrance is gonna be, how far do you think that, that this main trail is back in here? Well, to right here where we're at, it's about uh, six or seven tenths of a mile. And, and we've measured that because our clay pit is right over here, so we know how far that is. All the way up to where we're going to the equipment barn is a little bit over a mile and a half coming in on this main and, road. And that's just coming into the park. Right. Yeah. And you see what's beside you guys. There's nothing but woods on both sides of the road. And uh, that's why I said this is the beginning stages of something. And uh, do we got any work to do? Well, you're supposed to be running the skid steer. Well, you can't. Let me get that mud area clear, you I'll, know? Well, so. I'm gonna, we're fixing to go show them what I've been doing. <laughs> I grant you. He's been doing he's been doing great. He's making a lot of progress on our mud area, so yep. he's doing great. We're gonna talk more about that when we get there. So um, all right, we're gonna ease on back in here a little bit. We'll get back with you here shortly. All right guys, we're coming up. We're back in here a little bit, but this is a creek right here. Um this is gonna be a creek. We're gonna clean all this off, make a pretty grass on both sides, widen this up, and it goes over there. All right, so now we're getting into now we're getting into pretty much the heart of the park. You right. agree with that? Yeah. This area over here to the left is going to be our mud play area. And you kind of already described a little bit about what that's going to look like. You can see we put a temporary sign up to show people how to get down to some of the beaches. Back when we were at the river up there at the bridge. So you'll put in up there and then you'll float down here to the mud area where everybody will be anyway. And then that's where you'll exit. So if you know you have kids or something and you're playing in the mud and they want to go tube they can just get on a there'll, there'll be a thing over there to take them up a tractor there'll be something up there to take them up there to hop in the river and then they'll float down and they get off right here back right where they started at the mud area so they can leave their side by side here or whatever and then atv then they can hop back on it and come meet mom and dad or you know it's going to be a family thing or whatever so it's a constant loop to, to ride the river that's right all right guys so here we are this is probably so far uncle packy's favorite spot in the park so right here where i'm standing there's going to be a restaurant or a grill or something up in this area now here's why i like it because on this grill we're going to put a balcony overlooking the entire mud park down there those light trees 
You can see where I've been cutting with the mulcher. Um, but those light, small pines is what I'm taking out. And all that is going to be, and I don't know how it's set up exactly yet. I got to clear it off and see what the land looks like. But um, you're going to have your bog trucks in, in an area. Then you're going to have a DOT pit in the area. Then you're going to have a side-by-side -side UTV, ATV only area somewhere, you know, however we design it, you know. But the river, if you look at the horizon right there, the river is that direction and just runs down the park, you know, all in behind the mud area and runs all the way back through the property. So I don't know what y'all think, but I think a restaurant right here, sitting right here overlooking that beautiful mud area while you're eating a big old hamburger and a cold, cold drink, it's going to be pretty awesome. You'd be like, dude, Justin Punyong, you see that run? I mean, it's just going to be a good time, buddy. Um, it's gonna be something good, I, I promise you. All right, so now that I want to show you that, and then on the way down this uh, down this road right here, on the way down, uh, we're thinking about we got a couple different places for the vendor areas, um, but I know a bathhouse is going right over there, or over here, or over probably over there on the other side of the road. But six uh, six showers, bunch of toilets. <coughs> there'll be plenty. There'll be plenty of bath houses but that's going to be the first one right over there all right we're getting back in the truck we're going to show you a few more things all right guys so we brought you down here to the mud area wayne's easing us through here um this is where i've been clearing out some woods uh-oh no this thing would it's got racing slicks on it basically we ain't going through there with this it weighs about a thousand million pounds and it's got racing slicks on it and so, it ain't going through there so you're saying we're gonna have to back out yeah i mean if i was in my gmc now oh I'd here right through there here we go with that damn gmc hey here's one of our little creek crossings we wanted to show you um of course we're gonna clean it all up if this dodge will make it through it uh we're gonna clean it all up and uh you know get it flowing again because it definitely needs some work so packy the trail we're on right now i call it a trail it's a kind of a jeep road but this is going to be a main trail and then we'll have trails going all off to the side the really unique thing about this property is we have a very high area up near the interstate and then it drops down as you go towards the river of course but we're going to have plenty of upland trails so if you want to come out with your family and ride and you don't want to get in the mud and everything we'll have plenty of trails to do that on too and if you want to go and and bury a monster in there go ahead we're going to have it for you that's right there's also going to be an event area for you know there's going to be one big area um where the mega truck races will be side by side short course uh bounty holes uh, all that stuff will be in a event area so you know we'll get on the equipment and we'll make whatever the event is in that same area every time some hoopty races oh yeah we're probably gonna have a tug pad too we're, we're definitely gonna, having a tug pad yeah we gotta have that um if you want my boys to come from south florida you better have your tug pad that <laughs> come. uh no it'll be a good tug pad uh gonna be an amphitheater eventually yep, we're gonna have stage stage something else i wanted to mention while we're telling everybody about this is um you know we've heard you we know that you want good wash stations we know that you want a good bathhouse and bathrooms we've heard you i've gotten a lot of comments of course packy's told me those are important so trust me we're focusing on making sure we have that right when we do this so i was talking to my old good friend last night old justin gross and um, I was telling him a little bit about the wash down stations that we were planning. And uh, I'm gonna do like a big car wash. So, you know, you drive your buggy through it and we're gonna have plenty of well pressure and we're gonna wash your buggy, drive through and keep going. But Justin said, well, Packy, what about those guys with that radiator? And I'm like, you're 100% correct. So now on the side of those wash stations or the, somewhere around there, however we design it, uh, we're going to have some hoses, and uh, I came up with the idea to put the hoses on a reel because uh, we're not looking to replace hoses every weekend and somebody stealing our nozzles. So we're going to try to put them up high, and, you know, you pull the reel out, and then it rolls the hose back up for you, and then uh, you'll be able to spray your radiator out or whatever little specific thing you need to wash out. But we're going to have multiple wash stations, uh, a variety of different kind of wash stations. We're gonna have several bathhouses. 
but for right now we're only trying to get one done to kind of show you what it's going to be like um but it's coming we had our first well dug this week yep take them to a field just show them one of the obstacles like the jeep club's been out here playing on yeah we're All going right. to what we call field one which is an obstacle field another unique feature about this property is there's nine fields they used to be shooting fields this used to be a hunting uh, property and you'll see in some of the video you might see some old shooting houses out here well we tried to figure out what we were going to do with those fields and we came up with the idea let's make them obstacle fields and not only obstacle fields but we'll have picnic tables there and everything where you'll be able to stop uh, we know that one of the most annoying things when you're riding is when people back up on the trail so they can hang out with their friends well we're trying to avoid some of that by giving you a place to hang out you can come and park 20 or 30 buggies here and and hang out and uh, with your friends and watch them go over obstacles and we're not blocking the trails up the whole time we're doing it. That's right. Becky, here's one of those shooting houses I was telling you about. This property used to be, yeah. you know, a hunting camp and... Uh, you know you know what Uncle Peggy thinks about this shooting house? How, how many wasps do you think is in that shooting oh, house? Oh man, <laughs> I'd be scared to even get close to that thing. Hey, so here's the field right here, Doug, some of the obstacles. Yep. Um, something that was really cool recently there was uh going over it dodge show well, what's up yeah, i don't think so we had big <laughs> jeeps having trouble uh a guy named wesley wright he's a jeep promoter he put on a big event called the jubilee jeep jam over here uh just west of us and he wanted to do the whole event at the park but of course we're not ready we don't have our bath houses done and everything yet but we did have some obstacles and so uh they had about six or seven hundred jeeps that came to the event and on Sunday, we offered an excursion day where they all came out and uh, previewed the park. And we're gonna show you a couple of the obstacles. And if you go to Grand River Motorsports Facebook page, there's a bunch of uh, pictures and a few videos out there of people trying these obstacles. And uh, this first one, the culvert one, has been one of the more popular ones. And it's it's uh, slammed the frames of a few Jeeps for sure. So, so. The, so the Dodge don't want none of that? No, How Dodge about the Jeep? What about that GMC? GMC will go right there. Oh, that's, no what, problem. I, that's no what, problem. what I thought. That's so what I figured. Give them a good view yep. of that first set here. And uh, this may to be kind of challenging, but uh, I've seen stock Jeeps go over it with a good driver, you know? Well, motorcycles out here going over it too. Motorcycles went yep. over it too. Now my, yeah. Hey, I'm just telling you my side-by-side -side buddies, they're going to hit that first one and they're going to land about right here. They, they, <laughs> they're not, they're not going to worry about this middle section. They're just going to jump about right here anyway. Little tractor tire obstacle. Yeah, um, that's been a real popular one. This is just some a little tire hill. Uh, it's getting better as it washes out, actually. Yeah. Put in some articulation bumps just so you can see how your suspension is working. Uh, that one was real popular, especially with some of the beginners that are just getting used to their machines. And um, over here we got a a uh, railroad tie God. obstacle. Come on now, we're off road. Don't get scared. I, oh, I'm not scared. I'm just worried about how my kidneys is gonna look. <laughs> Give them a view of that one right there. That's a little railroad tie obstacle. Some of these things might look kind of tame on on video until you yeah, they're a little rougher. They're they're a little rougher when you get out of here. Yeah. So, so like I said, we're also gonna try to utilize these obstacles for events. Uh, they might be a side by side event, ATV event uh jeep event motorcycles i mean whatever but um i like the idea that these guys came up with utilizing the old deer fields as um you know as putting these obstacles in there because they, everybody can enjoy them and like he said as you can see there's plenty of parking for a group you know a mud group or a jeep group or whoever to come over here and uh park and hang out and right underneath those nice shade trees yep, right we'll put some picnic tables and uh, you'll be able to hang out and visit with your friends and make fun of people going over the obstacle 
Um, I wanted to share about this area right here, and it's going to be hard to see on the video, but if you look out there, you'll be able to see we're sitting up on a ridge here, and we talked about we don't really have uh, mountains in South Alabama, but we're going to call this a scenic overlook because once we get some of this brush cut out, you could see three or four miles across. That's, that's the river valley down there, so you're really kind of looking over the river down there. But you can see the ridge on the other side. Now, so. I, I don't mean to ask a dumb question, but is that the river before it gets to our property, or is that our that's, property? That's our property. Oh, okay. And, um, so that's the start. That, so that's the front gate that way. Yeah, and oh, phase two it. is actually on the other side where you see that ridge. Oh, okay. So that's the other 800 acres. Those, that big ridge is ours, too, way over there. Yeah, and, and right here, um, we're going to put up a nice big pavilion. Another cell tower. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're going to have plenty of coverage out here. But this will be a nice place to be able to come. We'll have plenty of parking for your bikes and you can sit up here. Uh, be able to just enjoy the view and hang out with your friends. All right, so here we are. He brought us down here to one of these beach access areas. So you can kind of see kind of what it looks like when it's not been raining for uh, 15 straight days. But um, this is kind of the, this is kind of the trail, kind of, you know, kind of what it looks like now, but we're going to clean it all up. It's just rough cut. But here's the, here's the creek. Or the, I guess this is Sticks River. This is the river. Sticks River, yeah. So there's like one of the sandbars, but it, if you, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but that sandbar comes way out in the water. It, the river is just really high. You can see the light parts. But uh, anyway, you'll go down the river. We're going to try to get the excavator over here and get some chains in there, pull some of that up. Hey, Chuck, who made that? Uh, somebody made him a little path. Hey, look at that. Water. Somebody's made a path like out of sticks to the water, like little stairs. That's pretty cool. I mean, there's probably rope swings in here and everything else down there through is. here. Uh, oh, found, no kidding. We found some rope swings down at the other end. There's a real nice beach down there. It goes probably 100 yards down there. So we, uh, so right there, we just decided something. We're going to make nice rope swings that's safe. That's right. And then uh, let y'all enjoy the let y'all enjoy the river. This is where I'd like kind of maybe the dump station to go to dump off people that's just riding tubes in the park round around. So how far do you think this is from the from the bridge? We're probably about a mile and a half. And you take about 15, 20 minutes to get down here. Mile and a half, you think? Probably an hour. Most oh, no kidding. You're, floating, you're only going one to two miles an hour, so yeah. probably about an hour to get down here. Well, I mean, you can see. Float. Yeah, well, I mean, it's flowing a little it's harder than that. Right. Today, yeah. But uh, it's normally a little slower than that, so it'd probably take you 45 minutes to an hour to get down here. But we're definitely going to utilize this river. That Dodge couldn't make it no further. You see what he had to avoid right here. He had, to, he had to park up here. He was scared. GMC, we go right down G there, GMC right would have done it? This old yeah. dodge ain't going to do it. Wayne, here we are, man. We got a lot of work to do, buddy. Hey. And after this video, they're going to be anxious. Man, we're excited to have you on board. You bring a lot of knowledge from uh, all the visits you've done to all these parks. And we know you're going to lead us in the right direction to build a first-class facility here. Um, you know, our timeline for opening right now is we want to have our bathhouse, bathrooms, we want to have good wash stations. We want to have our entranceway ironed out so you don't have trouble getting in here. And then we're going to shoot for a soft opening. We're estimating maybe somewhere around October, November, but you know how it is post COVID here trying to get things done. That's so right. we're working as hard as we can. We're out here every day from, from break of dawn until we, we got to get out of here. So man, I start, you know, you know, I certainly appreciate the opportunity. And uh, I mean, I've been, like Wayne said, and y'all know, um, I've been to a lot of mud parks and uh, I'm just totally thrilled that uh, I have a place I can truly call home and it's Grand River Motorsports Park. And uh, I'm still gonna make videos. Uh, I'm still gonna do my thing. I'm still gonna take care of the kids here. Um, and I have more ability to do that here, being at a, a park, you know, being home. Um, so I'm super excited, man. Um, I couldn't be more thrilled than than this opportunity and i'm not gonna let these guys down uh and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one i'm gonna put everything i have into it and i need you guys' help to go to grand river motorsports park and hit that facebook page and uh y'all keep up with things and like i said in the near future y'all look up grand river motorsports youtube channel because i'm gonna be creating that probably in the next day or so and uh y'all go over there y'all know what to do hit the subscribe button let's get it let's get it going but I'm gonna start making videos of park development, just like the power pole is going in. Uh, the guy, dude, we need to check the guys burning, man. Make yeah, sure they yeah. center it. We'll get burning. back up there. Next um, video. 
and then um so it's just gonna be like the development on the youtube channel and uh it might be 10 minutes of me cutting that field but i found some cool stuff cutting that field hog traps pipes old telephone poles and uh the machine does some funny stuff when i get to riding it too so uh and he, he ain't buried it completely yet. Look, you so gotta, we gotta get listen, him with man. This is a wide lens. You don't have to kiss me. It, it's got you. I mean, got to make sure they know that look, you're out man, there burying equipment. He just told me he's like, "Hurry up, let's get this video done. I gotta eat a sandwich." I'm like, "Yeah, you've already ate more than a sandwich, That's buddy." That's right. You damn right. right. Hey, we fixing to do it. Hey, we fixing to bring it to you from Grand River Motorsports Park. Here we come. Y'all look forward to it. All right, there we go, Wayne.